Hello from the Philippines. So today I want to talk about depression and how there must be many expats and foreigners, foreigners still in the West that are looking to come here that suffer from depression. We all have suffered from depression sometimes in our life. And anybody that says they haven't is either lying or in denial. Now, why am I talking about depression? I feel that I'm able to help you if you are suffering from depression. I've had over 20 years experience in the field of mental health issues, working both in a hospital setting and the local government. I've worked with adults that suffered from depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, borderline disability, Asperger's syndrome, schizophrenia, just to name a few. So I do have experience in this field and um, I saw a video from another vlogger about depression and it got me thinking, you know, especially the expats that come here, <clears throat> excuse me, they're alone here. Yes, they've got their Filipina. Perhaps she doesn't understand. I don't mean verbally. I mean conceptualizing understanding. That you might miss your family from time to time, your friends, your children that you've left behind in the West. Perhaps bad life experiences haunt you from time to time and you're feeling isolated here in the Philippines or indeed isolated back home. If you're still in the West and you're thinking about meeting a Filipina here or coming to live here, who do you talk to? Maybe a professional, but you don't want to do that. Perhaps it costs money, you're too embarrassed, you're too ashamed to. There's nothing really to be ashamed about. We've all been there in one form or another. And because of my experience, my previous experience, I feel that maybe I might be able to help people who are suffering. I suspect the majority it would be depression for whatever the reason. Now, I have my email address on my channel. If you want to e email me initially, we can take it from there. I know I make some crazy videos from time to time, but don't judge me on those. I truly have worked in the profession of mental health for in excess of 20 years. In the hospital setting, I trained in psychology as well. So I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet. I'm just here to help. You know, I used to watch another vlogger. He's an okay guy. And his channel is about helping people. He lives in the Philippines. And I remember him saying things like, if you need help with visas and retirement visas and this and that. He knows people that can help you and his girlfriend can help you. Oh, for a fee. His girlfriend can, you know, help you for a fee. That put me off of him because I thought you're a grifter, my friend. You're a nice enough guy, but you're ultimately a grifter. You're not really here to help people. You're here to help your girlfriend and the other people you're affiliated with. Me, I will do this for free. I'm not interested in any money whatsoever. I'm here to help you. I might not succeed, but I'll damn well try. Depression is a real thing. Like I said before, it takes on many different faces. 
maybe you are missing certain aspects of your life from back home in the West. Maybe you've had an argument with your Filipina and she's now presenting Tampo and it's a regular thing and that depresses you. And sometimes you're thinking, why the hell am I here? I should be back home with my elderly mother or my family or my kids that I've left. Your kids might be adults by now, but your grandchildren. What am I doing here with this Filipina, this dream girl that has tampo if I say the wrong words? It depresses me. That could be what you're thinking. And who have I got to talk to? I'm a million miles away from my family and friends. Sure, I could talk over Facebook, over Zoom, but I can't. You might be thinking. Because then they'll think I'm unhappy in the Philippines, and I'm not. It's just from time to time, somebody, not, this is not about me, gets depression and they don't know where to turn. They're in a foreign culture. There are places here in the Philippines that do help with mental health issues, but you're a foreigner. Are they truly going to understand your problems? Your problems might be many and varied. So you suffer in silence. Maybe you have an argument with your Filipina because she doesn't understand and things escalate. And then your depression or your manic thoughts get worse and worse. Maybe you suffer from bipolar, manic depression and can't help sometimes the way that you feel. Again, I've worked with many, many people that have bipolar, anxiety, depression. I've worked with the full range in mental health. Like I said, I'm not some magician that can solve all, but you can certainly talk to me if that will help. I don't know you, you don't know me, so it's on trust. But like I said, I watched this video and it really got me thinking. You know, there must be many expats that do suffer from some kind of depression. And there's no one. Is their Filipina truly going to understand? Is is your Filipina's family going to understand? No, I think not. So, like I said, it got me thinking, maybe I should build a network. Like I said, I don't want any money. All I want is if I can help you in some way, that's all I want to do. Who else is there? Most people are grifters. They're out to get money from you in some way, shape or form. Not to help you. Like I said, that vlogger, the one that's always talking about helping you, he's an American vlogger. Nothing against him being an American. But I kept on hearing him. Oh, my girlfriend can do this. Or I'm affili affiliated to this... Um, agency that can help you get a visa this way or that way he's on the take it's all about money i don't like people like that i don't like them whatsoever if you openly say i'm charging a fee what well, he does actually i think he did about his girlfriend but i just don't like them there's something rotten about those people not because he's american it could be anyone <clears throat> I, I say I don't like him. I do actually like the guy. 
but I don't like what he's doing. He's pretending to be all nice and friendly, but wanting this, he's just doing it in a different way. I can't stand that. Me, like I said, I don't want a penny. I don't want a dollar from you. I don't want a dime. But if I can help you, initially, like I said, just talking. I've been in that field. I have experience, a lot of experience. In the field of well-being, mindfulness. I've even worked with people before that who had learning disabilities. That's something different, I know. But like I said, in terms of suicidal thoughts, or suicidal idolation, in terms of bipolar, Asperger's syndrome issues, depression, anxiety, anxiety attacks, insomnia. Alcoholism. I've been there. What have you got to lose? Like I said, my email address is on my channel. I think it's in the about section. And if you really feel that I could help you, I could offer you any kind of help and you want to take me up on the offer, it's free. I will never, ever, ever charge. Email me in the first instance and we can take it from there. Why I'd never thought of this before, maybe I had, and I thought, let me keep stum, let me keep quiet. But I saw the video from a guy that I respect about depression. He's an English guy. Watch the video if you see it. And I didn't expect him to make that kind of video because I thought he was a happy guy. Then I thought, you know what? We all put on from time to time smiling. We all put on smiling faces. It's not to mean that we're never happy. We are happy at times. But sometimes behind that smiling face, there can be unhappiness, depression. We don't talk about it. Why would you? You're not going to come in here and say, I'm in a depression. You're going to put your smiling face on. It's your part of your makeup. You know, you'll get a lot of vloggers that will talk about, was it some foreigner was shot in Cebu? And that for them is the big topic of conversation. That for them will get them clicks will make them money. When I think a far more important issue is depression and mental health in general. Because you have mental health issues doesn't mean to say you're a nutcase, you're a raving lunatic, you're mad. You deserve to be in a lunatic asylum. Those days are gone. If you suffer from bipolar, it means you are a manic depressive. You will more than likely be taking medication. And so long as you take those med meds, it, you should be okay to a degree. If you suffer from depression, you might be on medication. You might not be. You might not need to be. The therapies are not here in the Philippines not for foreigners. And as I've said, even if you are still in the West, you wanna come here to live at some stage, or you wanna meet a Filipina and you are suffering. So it's not my normal motivational videos. You know, the ones where I say, get off your ass, think positive, have the courage, have the guts to come here. That's separate, I'm talking mental health issues and like I said 
if there's anybody, any adult on this planet that has never had any kind of mental health issues ever, they're lying or they're damn well in denial. Being unhappy is some form of mental health issue. Having a downer, having a bad day and feeling depressed just for that day is some kind of a mental health incident. Maybe you're lucky and most of the time you're fine. That's, that's cool. That's really cool. But I'm here for those that are suffering. And as I've said, if I can be of any help, I will try my best for you. Not because I want to be some kind of hero. Not because I want to make money from you. But because I have experience in that field. And why not use the experience I have learnt in 20 years plus in mental health. I've not been working for some silly little private home that dealt with mental ho uh, health and think I know it all. I have worked in the National Health Service, that's the primary hospital setting in the United Kingdom, and local governments, councils as we would call them, not just one but several. Within the hospital setting, it was for people, adults that suffered with mental health issues. I did training in psychology. Like I said, doesn't make me an expert, but I've been there. I've seen it. I've seen it over and over again. People that had no mental health incidences that were admitted. Maybe it was down to a breakdown in their relationship or something else. And we've had to, it wasn't just me on my own, the staff, my co-workers had to pick up the pieces. That was our job. We had to have an ear to listen initially. We had to have an understanding of mental health to be able to proceed and try and help in a more wider context. Listening is fine, and maybe listening is all I'm able to do. But I can and will offer advice if I feel it's appropriate. Now, you might look at me as some kind of a clown because I make the silly videos. Fair enough if that's what you want to do. Or you might choose to look at the serious videos I've made where I've taken my videos to places others wouldn't dare go because they present this image and they're afraid to shatter that, that image of themselves because if they do, they might lose their audience, they might lose the money. I don't care. I will make videos how I see fit. And this is one of those videos. It's a serious video. This is no joke. It's up to you if you want to take up my offer. I'm not a grifter like some out there. This is a genuine offer. If you're suffering in any capacity, it could be bereavement. Like I said, it could be a breakdown of a past relationship or a present relationship here in the Philippines. It could be a whole range of things, a whole variety. There isn't any one problem. There are a range of solutions. But talking in the first instance instance is probably the best. Well, you have to talk to begin with, because I would have to know what your predicament, what your situation is, and assess how, if I can, help, or at least try and refer you to someone 
And by referring you, I don't mean, say you're in the West, I don't mean I'll pick up the phone and speak to a doctor in your country. I mean helping you to ref self-referral is maybe a better way to put it. Now, in the course of my job, my work in mental health, I lie, I lie aised, excuse me, with many psychiatrists, with many doctors, with many other professionals in the field. Now, don't get me wrong, because you're suffering from mental health issues, be it depression, I do not mean to say that you need a psychiatrist. You more than likely do not. I was just telling you the people that I've liaised with. Social workers, psychologists, and many, many more. I've worked with them all. Some were good, some were not so good. So I've gained a working knowledge for 20 plus years. Like I say, or you might say, why do I want to help you? Because I saw that video of the English guy talking about depression. And I thought, you know what? There must be many people that suffer, if not from bipolar, if not Asperger's syndrome, maybe they have anxiety attacks or depression. And I am here if you want me. I can't guarantee I can cure your depression. You perhaps will have to do that for yourself. But I can show you techniques that might help. I can give you some advice that might help. But ultimately, it will be down to you. It's always down to you. It's about self-help. Now, I could advise you to go and see a professional if you're back in the West, let's assume. That's self-help because you either will take that advice or you won't take that advice. That's on you. I can only tell you what I think. You don't have to act on anything that I say, any advice that I give. You don't have to do a damn thing. You might email me in the first instance and think, yeah, no, I don't want to go any further. And that's, that's good, that's fine, if that's what you want to do. So the ball really, in a vernacular way of speaking, is in your court. The offer is there. For as long as you need it. Like I said, I can't guarantee I will solve every problem you have. That's beyond even me. But I can certainly try, and the word in brackets is try and help. And if I don't have the skills, I can at least try and point you in the right direction if you're back in the West. If you're over here, it's, it's hard to point you in the right direction because I don't know about the services here. They do have some mental health services, but I don't know how good they are. I just don't know enough about them. Yes, being out here in the Philippines, we are isolated. And even if you know other foreigners, you're hardly going to tell them your innermost thoughts and secrets, are you, really? You'll keep those hidden behind your painted smile. 
you're perhaps not even going to tell your loved ones back home because you don't want them to feel disappointed for you, for them to worry about you. So I want to build up a network here to help people. It might not work. I can only but try. I'm no superhero. Nor would I want to be. I'm just someone that's found his life, his happiness in the Philippines with the person he wants to be with, with a young baby. I found what I was looking for, for all of my adult life really, and couldn't find. I was strong enough to survive the knocks. Ultimately, not everyone is as strong as that. And I'm not, again, blowing my own trumpet and making me out to be some superhero, because I'm not. No one should ever have to go through <clears throat> what I went through. So, like I said, I'm not forcing anybody whatsoever to ever contact me. And I don't want some stupid trolls contacting me, talking garbage, because I'll see right through you, trust me. I'm here to help people that genuinely need the help. Take care.